All right, I think the biggest thing, biggest question that people are considering right now with the launch of the Grigory Plus is how does it differ from the Grigory 2? So this is going to be somewhat of a comparison analysis. So as you can tell, just visually, you can see some differences here in terms of they fully enclosed this, so no longer do you have the uh, kind of the open aspect of this. <coughs> And then uh, just overall, it's like just more aesthetically looking. You'll also notice too is right here. This this uh, flange is no longer overlapping like that. Like you do have this ledge here, but otherwise it's pretty much gone on the further part. So you can see those differences right there. On the other side, the differences are that. Um, we do have the belay mode dial. Right now it's in top rope mode, but you can switch it to lead mode. And everything else kind of looks the same. Some slight differences, but overall, again, the rope rating here is 8.5 to 11 millimeters, with the optimal uh, range from 8.5 to 10.5. And here the range is 8.9 to 11 millimeters, with the optimal range at 9.4 to 10.3. So a wider rope range overall and it's marked right there. Um, if you look on this side of it you'll notice some differences. Um, for example, let's focus on this area right here. You'll notice uh, some added metal here that isn't right here. Okay, and that is going to work a lot with this aspect right here when the when the cam is fully engaged on the rope, there's this huge gap, and there have been people, I've never hap had it happen to myself, but the rope will get caught down in there for some reason. I don't know what they're doing to cause that. But with this little thing, it's less apt to happen. As you can see, even with it fully engaged, you only have that small opening that my finger barely goes in. But on this one, you obviously, I can put my whole thumb in there. And it probably has some other purposes. I don't know the full purpose of that. And then you'll notice here this stainless steel wear plate, which doesn't have here. And as you can see on this device, you got all this wear and tear. It's actually grooving and getting sharp right here. So that's going to be dangerous to the rope. But this, with st and this is just aluminum, that's worn out aluminum this you got the aluminum plate but it has this steel wear plate that uh, is going to last a bit longer so you don't have this grooved out plate and so you can keep a hold of it a lot longer all right let's look at the insides again as you can see this is different from right here and other than that looks about the same you do have this nifty little place that you can write your name. This one doesn't have that, but still has the space. So, uh, if you're into writing your name on things so that you don't lose your stuff with your partners, then so be it. And then, it's not a visual aspect, but this, the Grigory 2 does come with the anti panic, and I think one of the best ways to just experience it is just pinching it like this and as I pull the handle and I fight it with my fingers I'm going to pinch here as hard as I can I'm just going to pull this handle and eventually the device just recams itself just because it gets to a certain point so I'm fighting it with that right hand left hand still pulling on the trigger and eventually it pulls and then if I want I can still open the cam if I push further than that but it's a lot harder with the Grigory 2, if I put it into that scenario, I'm pinching it, and there, and I rotate this, it's just going to keep going open and open, like, so yeah, it just, it just keeps opening, there's nothing to stop it from doing that until you're wide open. And then really quickly uh, to go in a little more depth on the lead and top rope. So what you're doing here is in top rope mode, 
it's providing the amount of tension that it needs so that the rope is getting more actively uh, cammed so it really chokes up on the rope allowing you to like keep slack out of the system giving somebody a secure top rope lay. In lead mode you're um, you're gonna make it to where the cam is now not going to be as active on it. It still catches it and you can still short rope your, your climber when paying out slack but it's going to provide a more dynamic belay uh, to where you can feed out slack. In top rope mode you can barely feed out slack um, unless you like really hold the cam down. So a huge huge advantage of that if you're lead climbing or top rope climbing. So those are the physical and functional differences between the Grigri Plus and the Grigri 2. The Grigri Plus does weigh a little bit more and it does cost $50 more, but you are getting a device that lasts a lot longer with all these steel wear plates. You got a device that gives you um, some better efficiency on either top roping or leading, and then the added uh, security of the anti panic function in the handle just makes this a, an overall win and it's not just for beginners it's it's I mean for me that likes to climb in the in the desert where the sand is just going to be grooving out my devices I mean that's this is a win for me already just right there and I own an 8.5 rope an 8.5 millimeter rope and so to have a device that says it will take it is a win because here it's saying that you know I should only be putting an 8.9 in here so I'm a skinny rope user and I climb in the in the desert sand and so with that this device is definitely going to be um, a preference for me and besides I need to upgrade anyways because I'm getting a little unsafe with this, this sharp groove right here that's not good.